I have a neighbor who will not use online banking because it's, it's too risky. Yet, every morning he walks outside to his mailbox, puts his bills that he's just paid into his mailbox and puts the flag up and walks away and waits for the mailman to pick up his private data. So, you know, I wonder, I think that sometimes people, you know, are in an adoption sequence. You know, not everyone adopts at the same time. And I think we'll see a shift. But, you know, the data breaches, I'm not going to say that they're good, but it's getting rattled a little bit. That, that have I done anything since that data breach? Well, I did contact Equifax and I put a couple of things in place, but I really didn't change my life. You know, all of the Google uh, um, subscribers were breached also. So did anything really happen? I don't, I don't know. Now, the, the point for me is that we look at the emergence of technology and say, oh boy, in three to five years, we'll have our full genome available to us. Dr. Campbell spoke about having your genome available on oh, your yeah. smartphone, um, right? Well, people look at that and say, well, oh my God, if someone steals my iPhone, they'll be able to recreate me or whatever, you know? But we have to look at the progression of security along with the progression of innovation. So I think we're seeing fundamental changes in, um, in, in, in security that will keep pace. So it's a little unfair to look at the future and put it in the context of today's security standards. My only rebuttal to that, although I do like the idea of the genome, because if you, if you do Put every, I do think that a patient should be able to have their EMR on their iPhone. I would love if tech could create a universal, because we still can't get EMRs in America to be synchronized. And sometimes even hospitals that share the same EMR that are less than a mile away still can't communicate. And that's in 2017, I think unacceptable, especially when we have a national mission to streamline healthcare. And if you could create a barcode that patients could scan and they could essentially get their health record from every physician and own it, now it's in their space. And if you did something like the example of iPhone X with the face ID, something that's that protective, now the onus is on the patient to protect their health information. Now in that respect, I can understand the Google and the ways, the Google Maps analogy, but no patient is putting their health records in their mailbox and waiting for the mailman. You My know, neighbor is. Well, he's putting his bills, but not his health records. And so even when we, you know, and I look at the example of getting pay patients when I've had a needle stick injury, if you need to test them for something that is, you know, transmitted, you need to get consent mm -hmm. from the patient, from, you have to talk to employee health. There's all these, but you have to get consent from the patient. So the sensitivity is there and it's up to the patient. Now, I think if we gave them ownership because it will help engagement with digital, with physician, with other physicians and improve outcomes because now they can get better care when they go to, to an ER and save us from repeat testing but now they own it so the owners that that ownership is important but again that goes back to who's in charge and the control control versus collaboration I think that's it in yeah. a collaborative environment I think it's a win-win situation yes